But how often do you attend or support local art in the community? Well, there is now data to see just how much the creative culture impacts the local economy. Our Sarah Winkleman has the results from the Morrison County Local Art Economic Impact Study. They're bringing dollars into the county that may not otherwise be there because of the nature of the works. It all started with one goal. I wanted to look for some way to be able to gather those numbers. And then finding the right organization to get the job done. And in this case, the numbers gathered. We partnered with a bunch of the arts and history organizations here in Morrison County to put the study together. It's part of a statewide effort to get hard data about the nonprofit arts and culture sector in Minnesota. The study found that the total economic impact of the nonprofit arts and culture sector is $4.7 million annually. Here we are in Morrison County, and I don't think we always think of ourselves as heavy in arts and culture. To the surprise of many, Morrison County creative workers average over $18 an hour, which is nearly $3 above the average worker wage. We really do have support right under, right under our noses. We just don't always, I don't think we're always aware of that. But with a newfound support for the arts and history sectors, Morrison County is often running with the results. I am really encouraged, actually, after hearing, you know, all of the positive impact that we're having for residents within the region and beyond. So many nonprofit arts and culture organizations in one county serving nearly a quarter of a million people. It's really astonishing, and that's bringing a lot of dollars into the county that wouldn't be here otherwise. This is the first study of its kind for Morrison County, but most likely won't be the last. I think it'll help uh, with the Economic Devel Development Authority thinking about, you know, sort of the spectrum of things that a county needs to be a vibrant and attractive place for workers. Now with proof that this small community has a large impact. Reporting in Little Falls, Sarah Winkleman, Lakeland News. A link to the full economic impact study can be found on our website, lptv.org. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.